that's be uh, do you think I get kicked out? I think there's a very good chance you would get kicked out <laughs> and possibly lose JR as a friend. No, no, JR would understand. JR would not understand. I would pay him back with chicken and watermelon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a good friend. That's a good friend. I mean, because now it's like JR wouldn't want to get paid with money or nothing. I'm like, JR, okay, this is, gonna, this is gonna seem a little bit racist, but at the end of the day, I'll make it totally worth it. And he'll, he'll go through because you think he's gonna be something really great and it'll be a good friend. And I will go take him to KFC. He's like, Bitch, what the fuck is this? I'm like, JR. It's KFC. It's your homeland. I'm getting you what you love best. I brought you back. I brought you chicken. back. Go get you some fried chicken. And, and look at this. What is this? It's a one trip plane ticket to Ethiopia. Yes, it is. I hear your mama coming. Oh my god. He's like, oh, I can hear drums. <laughs> That's right, JR. You can hear drums. Take this. Run free, boy. Run yes. Free. Yes. Run! He's halfway there. He's like, "Go to Mother Ethiopia." Oh, fucking bitch is good. <laughs> he's on the plane like, "Oh dang!" <laughs> I don't want to go to Ethiopia. There's no food here. <laughs> There's just a lot of miles and miles of no fried chicken and watermelon. Miles and miles and miles. And I have a new black man. I didn't say no. Did say no. I never knew a black man I was comfortable saying anything in front of. <laughs> you know what? That's true. I was just like, like if there's a black person around, Some... I like, I will avert my eyes and say nothing because no matter what I say, it's gonna be racist. Like, do you like my new hat? What? What? White woman? What? And I'm like, oh my god. I find myself doing this every time, and I I'm just surprised uh, an Asian man that hasn't come and shanked me yet. Whenever I eat Chinese food, it doesn't. Even, I don't even do it on purpose. Like I'll be eating my Chinese food, and I'll take on like this fake Chinese accent <laughs> when I'm talking. And I did it when I was at Minami's, and my brother is looking at me like, shh. I'm like I, I remember the joke was about. It. I, was, I was like, oh look at me like my look at me like my noodles. <laughs> and I was like being really really racist, and I wasn't even trying to be. I was, Making funny to myself. Yeah, just no. And the Asian one over there looking at me was like, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> yeah, because that made her feel better. I always compensate my racism by complimenting their food that probably got spit on. But Asian spit probably tastes like teriyaki, so it's all good. <laughs> I'm That's why I like to make out with Yoshin Sugawabe, because he tastes just like sukiyaki. That's right. Sukiyaki. I made that up. Uh, is, is it like? Uh, I think it's a sweet song. Sweet and sour teriyaki. It's like a song from the 1950s. Sukiyaki. I really think so. Wow. I'm not kidding. I think Did it's a really you song. You know Jackie Chan sings. No. No, he does. He has put out 50 albums. <laughs> 50. Since 1987. 50. 50. Maybe it's 25, and I just added another 25. <laughs> but I know it's some crazy fucked up number and i'm like jackie chan can sing okay you know what that means right we gotta look up jackie chan we gotta get ourselves some jackie chan singings or guy guy oh i found out that lydia is quite racist his name is his 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 was it whatever his chinese name was it just meant born in hong kong how sad that's what his chinese he was pissed off about it too if you read his i read his biography because i'm a faggot right so i read his biography and his his name meant born in hong kong i forgot what i forgot what it was but then his nickname was popo which apparently means cannonball which i think is adorable he He was a fat he was fat and round like a cannonball Um, and then like he went and he got he went to chinese opera school and he got another name there and then he finally he came over to america and apparently they were calling they were they called all asian people jack they just called everybody jack but then they started to love jack so like jackie and like, all of his early movies, I how it's love, spelled wrong with a Y. I love that he kept his racial slur and just, like, made it his thing. Jackie Chan! Oh, okay, what, how is how is Liddy racist? Oh, at first it was Jackie Chan who was Guy Guy, but apparently she can't tell the difference between Shiroti Yu and Jackie Chan. And I just don't even know what that <laughs> says. She's like, because Shiroti Yu came out of she's like, Guy Guy! Guy Guy! I was like, no! No, that is not Jackie Chan. That's Shiroti Yu. They're not even the same kind of Asian. No, they're very, very different Asian. Jackie Chan is all Asian. Shiroti Yu is not. No, he's half Spain. And I have to say Spain because when I say Spanish, people think I'm talking about Mexicans and everyone knows Mexicans smell like dirt. I think Shiroti Yu probably smells like flowers and freshly and Antonio Banderas. Fresh, and he smells, freshly pressed he Yanagi. Like Antonio no Banderas. Banderas. Because Antonio Banderas is from Spain. Yeah, but his mom's Spanish, not his dad. His dad's Japanese. So can 
his mom. His mom <laughs> humped Antonio Banderas. Then she humped Shoryu's dad, and that's why Shoryu has somewhat Antonio Banderas odor. You know, I don't think Antonio Banderas is that hot. You know what? When he's Zoro, I would fuck him. Although I fuck any Zoro because I I watch the old school Zoro. It's like even yeah. in black and white, like yeah, I would just. I don't even know why I like this show because <laughs> I don't like anything to do with like like Spain really, and Zoro is a really Spanish. Fucking yeah, there's Zorro. a whole well, like there's like all that historical context. But I would just I would like. Mm. Hi, Tesco. Look at me. With the boner. Yeah, that's Tesco's boner right there. That really actually looks... And Eiji's getting ready to get hard, too. You can tell. You can see his balls resting against the ground. Everybody's getting God, really I wish I were erect. a man. Me, too! Oh, my gosh, we were talking about that? Because we were talking about raging hard-ons. Mm-hmm. Like, me and these three guys. Me, Chris, James, and Ian. And, and he was like, this gives Viking something... This beat gives a Viking dance, techno Viking, a raging heart, which apparently is some kind of viral video on YouTube, which we'll probably apparently have to look up. And so we all suddenly popped raging boners, even me. And I was like, yeah, I popped a raging boner too from James's pillow hat, but but you can't see it because his hat's in the way. I mean, I've I've pitched an impressive tent over there, but James's hat is in the way. Chris, who is still making fun of me, like. I feel like we're competing to see who can, like, make Krista feel worse. You know? But, like, I'm like, he just, he's just, he's just like, yeah, you know, this, this, it's just, it's just, no. You know, I was, but I'm just not, mm, not gonna be the friend. No. I'm just not gonna be your friend. I'm like, ugh, damn it. I was, I was, I'm sad about that, you know? I was like, no, let's talk, Chris. Just like that. And, which is horrible because I talk about myself. I say, hey, Chris, what's up? But his name is Chris. I'm gonna I'm gonna kick his ass one of these days, but I don't know how yet because he's Hindi and it'll be racist no matter what oh, I do. Oh, he is Hindi. He I'm pretty sure he is, but I feel racist to ask. I'm like, hey, <laughs> you're not white. I don't oh, understand. 